What is going on guys, Miles here and today we're going to be looking at the new Blood Anvil mission team which was released in Infinite Warfare yesterday, let's do this. We initially knew about the Blood Anvil like a couple of months ago now but it was never really confirmed by Call of Duty, we just saw a leaked trailer for it which looked really good so I just assumed it will be real and I'll play that right now, let's check it out. So, here you are at last, everything has led you to this, all the missions or the killing brings you to us. But you are not Blood Anvil yet. You have to prove yourself with blood and fire. Be the best. Kill the most. Complete your missions without any question and then we'll see if you are truly Blood Anvil. And I, Commander Victor Krushkin, will be your judge. So in my opinion, that was actually a pretty badass trailer. And one thing that sort of misled me at first was that he mentioned how you had to like complete every mission team or everything actually led up to this moment of joining the Blood Anvil. But that actually isn't going to be the case because you only need to be Prestige 1 to actually unlock the Blood Anvil. Back when this was released I thought that you'd have to get like at least level 50 or even level 100 in every single mission team to unlock the Blood Anvil but that is not the case so it's going to be a lot more accessible to everyone who plays the game so I think it's a good thing honestly. It looks like the Blood Anvil will be the hardest mission team to level up but you can get a lot of rewards for doing so including new weapon variants, camos and accessories and starting off with the accessory we have the Crush Kin's Will which looks to be like a red hand and a red hammer. Looks pretty cool and I'd love to have it on my weapon but as for these camos and accessories we don't actually know what level you need to get to in order to unlock them. As for the new camo called Blood Dipped, as you can see on screen right now, in my opinion, it doesn't look too amazing, but I guess you're going to unlock this at a very low level on the Blood Anvil. Maybe like before level 10 or something, it'll be a reward for getting maybe 5. Uh, so I'm not expecting it to be amazing, but it might look quite good on some weapons, because I can't really think of many red camos in the game. But the thing we've been looking forward to the most are the weapon variants which you can get by leveling up the Blood Anvil and these are actually pretty damn good because in all the other mission teams there's a bunch of common and rare variants which you can get by leveling up the teams but in the Blood Anvil you only get legendary and epic variants by leveling it up and there's 5 in total, 3 legendaries and 2 epics. Starting off, for getting the Blood Anvil to level 10, you unlock the Widowmaker Talisman variant, which is a legendary, which has the two bonuses, Gambler and Haste. Gambler gives you an extra perk for every free kill streak you get, which expires upon death, and Haste gives you extra movement speed, which may not be amazing on the snipers, because typically, you're not really running about rushing around with a sniper, but the Gambler bonus is pretty nice. Once you hit level 20 on the Blood Anvil, you get the Karma 45 Armageddon Legendary variant, which has the nuclear bonus, which is pretty awesome, and also the steady bonus, giving you reduced hip spread, which works pretty well with the Karma, because it is an SMG, and you're going to be running around with it, so that's actually a pretty damn good variant. By getting level 30, you unlock the first epic variant for the Blood Anvil called the Oni Tengu, which has a pretty cool uh, variant, which is called Invert Polarity, which greatly increases fire rate but it reduces over time and also it gives you stockpile which just gives you increased ammo and that one sounds really interesting but I think it'll be quite hard to play around because you're going to have to kill them fast with your first couple of bullets or else it'll be pretty bad. For getting level 40 with the Blood Anvil mission team you unlock the last legendary variant called the HVR Forsaken which has the nuclear bonus once again which I'm happy to see and increased ammo with the stockpile bonus which overall seems to be a pretty decent variant. And finally, if you hit level 50, you unlock the Karma 45 Deimos or Demos. I'm not really sure how to say it, but it is an epic variant and it sounds really good to me uh, because if you get a kill, you get increased fire rate and reduced recoil for a short amount of time and you also have naturally just reduced recoil with the weapon. So it sounds like it could be very powerful, but it is going to be incredibly difficult to unlock. I'm going to guess that the Blood Anvil works similarly to the other mission teams, so once you get level 60, you'll unlock the Widowmaker Mark II version. Once you get 70, you'll unlock the Karma 45 Legendary variant in the Mark II version. And when you get 80, you unlock the Oni Tengu in Mark II. And for getting 90, you'll unlock the HVR Forsaken in Mark II. And finally, if you hit level 100, you'll get that Karma 45 Epic variant in Mark II version. 
But there we have it, they are a load of the rewards you can get by leveling up the new mission team in Infinite Warfare multiplayer called the Blood Anvil. Let me know what you think of this mission team down in the comments below and if you guys found the video useful, remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Call of Duty but I'll see you guys in my next video.